Hello, my name is William Bayreuther, your e-learning specialist. Today, we're going to demystify with you what it means to be a manager. You just got a promotion, you're very excited, but you're also insecure and you feel a little overwhelmed by the events and emotions at the same time. But don't worry, this is perfectly normal. Becoming a manager can be learned. Moreover, we will discuss the role of the manager, new behaviors to adopt, and competencies to develop. The important thing to understand is that in the end, your role just changed. So look at this new role like a whole new job, because that's exactly what it is. Changing jobs also means there will be a certain learning curve. You are going to make mistakes along the way, and that is very normal. Our role is to reduce that curve and minimize the mistakes you are likely to make while giving you the tools that you need to succeed. Let's look at these in a bit more detail. Becoming a manager means guiding your team to achieve its objectives so that they can function independently. Becoming a manager therefore means moving from employee to boss. To be successful in this new role, you will need to let go of certain things and make concessions or compromises. Let's look at what the overall changes are when you become a manager. One of the first realities you will have to face is the friendships with your former colleagues. Keep in mind that you are now representing your employer and that your behavior must be aligned accordingly. While it might be natural, you won't necessarily be able to do tasks that you used to be an expert on. You now have the overall responsibility of your entire team's tasks. And since you're now a manager, you must think about the performance of the team rather than your individual performance. Remember that your success is now measured by your teams. And if you are the trusted person on your team, now you need to trust your employees. This will require you to focus more on results and deadlines. There will also be decisions to be made based on the team and the business rather than on your own needs. And sometimes certain decisions will probably not be unanimous but will nonetheless still have to be taken. Finally, you will inevitably step out of your comfort zone. You will learn new tasks and will no longer be in the comfort zone you are used to. Be kind to yourself the same way you are with your new hires. In addition to changing your habits, you also need to develop new competencies to effectively fulfill your role. First, you will have to adapt to others. You need to be able to adjust to each person's competencies, experiences, and personality. You also need to build trust. You must be sincere, be humble, and be honest. You need to practice active listening. In other words, be fully attentive to both your employee's verbal and nonverbal communication, be in the present moment, and listen to them without any judgment. Developing others is also another key competency for a manager. It involves working with and empowering employees to achieve optimal in-store results and improve their performance. Finally, you need to plan effectively or have a better idea of the time required to complete a task and clarify roles within the team. Therefore, it is by developing these competencies that you will become an influential, well-equipped and successful leader who will be able to create a work environment conducive to the development of your team members. Obviously, all of this does not happen overnight. You're going to need a certain adjustment period. So be kind to yourself and give yourself time to adjust to your new role. The more you're able to change your habits and develop these new competencies, the more your influence will grow within the team. And with that, I wish you a very great success in your new position and until we meet again in a new video.